So downtown Edmonton was the heart of the city for the first 100 years of Edmonton. In the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, it got hollowed out, especially with the development of West Edmonton Mall. It became the premier attraction for the city of Edmonton, the place everybody wanted to go, the place tourists came. Downtown was empty. After five o'clock, nobody was here. For the first time with this ice district, and we're on the 30th floor of the Stantec Tower here, downtown finally has an answer to West Edmonton Mall. This district, the enormity of it, the inside amenities, the food courts, the public plazas, the restaurants, the arena itself, all of it is gonna combine to present a major challenge to West Edmonton Mall. A reboot of downtown like we haven't seen before. I mean, we've heard the word transformation so much, it's kind of lost its meaning. Everything's transformational. When you're here and when you're seeing this plaza, when you're in the district, when you're in the JW Marriott, this really is transformational. The, the scale of it, it's like when you entered West Edmonton Mall for the first time and were blown away by the size of it, the enormity of it. This has that feeling and it's the first time we've had this feeling in the downtown in my lifetime in Edmonton. So right now we're standing uh, off what we've been calling uh, Oilers Way, which runs from City Hall past the Edmonton Tower, going westward into um, the plaza, which uh, as you can see in the background is, is, is part of the entrance effectively to Rogers Place. And immediately in front of me is the Stantec Tower and to my left is the uh, JW Marriott Hotel and Legends Condos. And so this is gonna be a major focal point for the citizens of Edmonton and tourists and stuff who are coming here. And you can see the giant uh, video screen here. So when the Oilers are making our playoff run next spring, the public can come here. We can eventually accommodate almost 20,000 people in this plaza and the other balconies and other elements of Stantec Tower and the hotel for people to come and watch uh, hockey games, concerts, movies. And so it's going to be one of the most dynamic public spaces in the country. Probably will be.